some families are dealing with a different kind of loss. Federal highway records show drunk driving spikes during the Memorial Day holiday. And an NBC 10 investigation reveals some states are unequipped to handle all the drunk drivers. But since investigative reporter Mitch Blocker's initial reporting, we found that soon may change in Pennsylvania, right Mitch? Yeah, Jim and Denise, Memorial Day is traditionally one of the deadliest and most dangerous because of drunk drivers across the country. We found in Pennsylvania, those who get caught driving over the limit are likely to be back on the road quickly and able to do it again. For Pat Crowley, Memorial Day takes on a different meaning. His whole pelvis was shattered. His son wasn't a war veteran. He hit the side of the pickup truck full on. Liam Crowley was killed by a drunk driver, by someone caught for the seventh time. He survived for two and a half days in the hospital, but he never regained consciousness. Since Liam died, his father has been battling to stop what happened to his family from happening to anyone else. I really have no empathy, none, for the people that are guilty of these offenses because they're just a threat. They're worse than a loaded gun being fired off in a party. Pennsylvania's own records show repeat drunk drivers account for almost 40% of all DUI-related deaths. But in Pennsylvania, drunk driving isn't a felony, no matter how many times you get caught. Whether it was the second DUI or the eighth DUI, they only faced a three-year minimum. From Harrisburg, Senator John Rafferty is fighting to change that. We first talked to him in 2017 about why 13 previous bills promising to hold drunk drivers accountable fell short before becoming law. If there are 13 bills that aren't making it to a vote, there are people out there, your colleagues, who don't think this is important. It's my job to make sure they realize that and to educate them. The most recent bill makes a third DUI a felony and carries as long as a seven-year prison sentence. The Senate has passed the bill. This is a deterrent for those people who continue to disobey, disregard the law. Pat Crowley wanted to see it in place before the summer stretch of holiday weekends. There are going to be a lot more people by the end of tonight that are in my company, and that's not good. He's hoping the House and governor make repeat drunk driving a far more serious crime. Maybe they'll move on it. Maybe. And Pennsylvania is one of only four states that does not treat repeat drunk driving as a felony. That bill, it now goes to Pennsylvania's House of Representatives. If they pass it and the governor signs it, it would become law. For the investigators, I'm Mitch Blocker, NBC10 News. All right, Mitch.